Hey everyone, it's Winda from Windiful.com and welcome back to my channel where we're all about streamlining our lives through planners and systems. Now before we jump into this video, I want to mention that this video is sponsored by Sprinkle. They are offering us another discount code for you to use their app, which I'll have the link in the description box below for you. That code is Winda20. So for those of you who are new here or have missed any of my previous videos, Scritchel is basically a hybrid note-taking and mind mapping app that is perfect for visual learners. So in today's video, we are going to dive into how we can use Scritchel to organize our workflow and to-do lists and everything. So I'm going to create a system within Scritchel to help you organize your work. Okay, so let's get into the video so I can show you guys how to do that. All right, everyone. So let's get straight to business. So I'm going to show you guys how to use Sprintle to organize your work tasks like a pro. So we're going all in with creating a text box for work and then having sections for our tasks, using the Kanban board, and then having a section for our backlog, completed log, and appendix. So we're going to go through each of these one by one so you guys can see how to set up a system for your work. So first things first, let's go into the task section. So I just created a text box that says tasks, and then I changed the color a bit, and then I created a Kanban board. To create a Kanban board, you can just go to this plus sign and then do columns, or you can just hit K, and you can add as many columns as you want. So for me, I have the to-do list, the recurring tasks, in progress, and then backlog and completed. So even though I have backlog and completed here, I still like having its own section here just to keep track of everything better. Okay, so things that go on your task list could be immediate tasks like answering emails or writing a webinar script or preparing my next blog post. And then for recurring tasks, these could be things that have to be done on a recurring basis like social media, weekly newsletter, meetings, stuff like that. And then in progress are for tasks that I've started but haven't finished. And then the backlog is for tasks that aren't a priority right now, but I still need to get to eventually. So the cool thing about Scrintle is that I can have this and then I can easily drag things from one column to the next. And then if I need more notes about writing my webinar script, I can open that up and then start typing in my webinar script within this card. Let me show you guys more about the backlog. So I have a category area for my backlog. So I have content. So these are just like blog post ideas. And then we have back end. So things that I need to do behind the scenes, some projects that I want. And you can see here, I actually, for projects, I can link different cards in here. So to do that, all you have to do is hit this plus sign and then you can insert a card, board, or link. So you can say you want to do a project for sponsorship. You can just link that card and then you can open up that card within this card. It just connects all of your big ideas together. And I think that is the amazing part about Screen Tool. And then for completed, you can actually link all of your tasks. So if you can write all the things that you got done and put the date that it was done, and then you can even link that card directly into this completed list so that you can keep track of all the things that you did finish and complete. And it's just a good way to see your progress and help you get things done. And then finally, we have the appendix. This is a great area for you for those who have like miscellaneous items that don't really fit into the regular workflow but are still super important. You can also use it for important documents, shortcuts to often visited websites, or even a list of books and articles you want to read to boost your personal development. And you can categorize it the way I have. So I have personal development, training and courses, books and articles, and I can just link everything here everything that I need. So I use mine to keep track of various business needs, resources and tools, like all of my links, uh, my content calendar, my digital planner templates, my ClickUp templates, Sansalma, like my affiliate links. And then you can even upload PDFs or files if you want. And you can even preview it 
within, which I think is really great. So you can see how everything can stay connected within Sprintle. And it's all on one page, all at a glance. So you can see your entire, all of your work tasks on this one screen. And I think as a visual person, this is going to be so handy. I also have one for business metrics, so I can upload my revenue reports directly into Scrintel. I can do traffic analytics and I can link a card directly in here. This is part of my recurring tasks. So every time that I do a monthly review, I can just pop it into this Scrintel card as well and just analyze to help me see, you know, how I'm growing and everything. Okay, so that's basically it. We have our task list, recurring tasks in progress, backlog, completed log, and the appendix. And this is a great way to organize your work within the Scrintel system. And I think it's just a great system for you to see everything at a glance. And, and that's it for today's video. So I want to give a huge shout out for Scrintel for sponsoring this video. And remember to use the code WINDA20 for a special discount. Oh, well, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe for more wonderful tips. I'll see you guys in my next video.